All right, guys, so welcome to Joe's RC Corner, and today we're going to be back on the Cricut, and today we're going to be doing some prep for paint. So, first things first, guys, we're going to be getting some of the parts out for the tail feathers, and we're going to start rubbing these down. Uh, we got some uh, very fine grit sandpaper uh, pads because we don't want to put grooves in anything. We just want to smooth it out and we want to add a texture to it to allow the epoxy uh, paint primer to, uh, to adhere to it. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and run over it with a little bit of Scotch-Brite. We have uh, warm water here with a uh, little bit of the dish detergent in there just to kind of clean it up and keep everything going. So we already finished up the, uh, the hatch for the, uh, the tail fin here. So that part's done. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and cha uh, change our attention over to the vertical uh, stabilizer. We're going to get that prepped. Uh, we are going to tape off the hinge back here because I don't want to get paint on the hinge itself. So we're going to tape that off uh, when we get ready for paint. Uh, we're going to finalize everything on here and uh, get that done. We're going to move over then to the rudder. The, uh, and then the horizontal stabilizer. There's one thing that I want to do before I finish, before I get that ready. Uh, we do have that stiffener that has to go in the elevator uh, before uh, I get that done. And then I'm probably going to use uh, some screws and uh, some bolts and nuts to hold the elevator uh, trim servo in place. Um, so I'm not going to have that riveted as the book says. We're going to use bolts uh, to do that because I want to be able to take that off when needed. But uh, do need to get this last piece in the elevator, so we will probably try to get that done today too, because we want to get all of these prepped today, so that way tomorrow we can set up the paint booth, put some heaters in there, get the temperature up inside there, uh, and then in the uh, office there behind the camera there, we're going to go ahead and um, that's where we're going to mix paint, epoxy, uh, the epoxy paint and everything back in there. Uh, so that's the plan, guys. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the uh, GoPro here today as a time lapse. And uh, I know it's going to be boring to kind of watch me sand. So maybe I won't set it up. To be honest, we're not going to set up a time lapse, guys, because watching someone sand in time lapse is not fun. So I'm going to come back when, I'm, uh, when we got a little bit more work done, and I'll show you where we are. Stay tuned, guys, and let's get back to work. All right, so uh, we got a lot done. And uh, we went ahead and we got the uh, horizontal stabilizer is now nicely uh, scotch bright. So tomorrow, hopefully, we can find a way of getting these hung uh, or mounted somehow so I can paint them uh, nicely. Uh, so we'll work on that. Uh, we went ahead and we did get the uh, elevator taken care of. And we also found that clicking noise. So one of the uh, hinge points here was... Uh, just needed to be trimmed back a little bit. It was rubbing, and every time it rubbed, it would just make that popping noise here. Uh, so we got that fixed. Of course, I fixed that one, and then one over here was doing it. So I went ahead and fixed that one as well. So now, when I move the elevator up and down, no longer makes that nice clicking noise. Uh, we also went ahead and got these all ready for paint as well. Uh, we, re we installed the uh, stiffener uh, for the... Um, elevator trim servo, so that's all set. Uh, let's see, we also got the the vertical stabilizer is all nicely uh, prepped for paint now. Oy. So this is all prepped for paint. It's also been uh, scotch brighted, uh, ready to go. So this is all scotch brighted and ready to go as well. So that's all nicely done. Uh, I do have to work on the uh, the uh, struts still, uh, so we'll work on those later, probably tomorrow since it's already after four o'clock here. So we'll we'll work on that tomorrow, uh, right before we get those prepped for paint. Uh, but those are going to be black, which is a different color than what I'm painting the skins uh, of the airplane itself. So I'm not too concerned about getting those uh, ready yet. Oh, and the rudder is also uh, prepped as well. So that's down there, ready to go. So uh, we also got the, unfortunately I forgot with the put the pins on here. Uh, can't pull the lights out, but I did scuff that up. We'll just tape everything off and uh, we'll just hang them 
and uh, tape the uh, light off and, and get that done. Same with the other one, that one's set, ready to go. The uh, uh, pitot tube, uh, that'll probably just get painted black and then this will be painted the green. Um, the nose dorsal is done. I did remove the pull pull uh, mount off the uh, rudder because I'm gonna actually not paint this uh, so I wanted to take that off and set that aside because that's not going to be painted. Um, everything else here is ready to go, uh, ready to paint. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to set up the booth here and uh, we'll find a way of setting some of the uh, parts in there, get those uh, primed and then painted all at one time. That's my goal. I really wanted to be able to do that all at one time, save a lot of time getting it done front and back, all that fun jazz uh, at the same time. So we'll work on that tomorrow. So that's all we have for today, guys. So I'll catch you in the morning and hopefully we can start laying some paint down. Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, today's it's next day here, it's Sunday, and uh, we're gonna start working on getting some uh, um, stands so we can hang some of the equipment or some of the parts here so we can get those ready to paint. So what we did, stopped over at Lowe's, Went to the aviation department there and we bought some uh, aviation grade uh, stand material. It's a DIY kit, as you can see. Uh, but we, yeah, we bought some, uh, some two by fours over here. They're eight feet tall. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make four hangers. Um, and uh, what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to hang up the wings later on by the uh, flapper on hinges. Uh, Scott uh, went ahead and did the something similar and I got to kind of mirror or copy what he did. So thanks Scott for uh, putting that uh, video together with the uh, with your air with your wings hanging uh, because that gave me an idea to uh, go ahead and make up these stands. So I'm just using two by fours and they're eight feet tall. I got 12 of them. It should be enough to make four stands and then I got some scrap two by fours and stuff for uh, bracing around the edges, uh, the corners and so on to make it a little bit more sturdy. Um, and then uh, also bought a whole bunch of little things here uh, to hang them with. So what I'm gonna use to hang the wings is uh, we got, if I can get to it here. So we got some, uh, some anchor hooks, that'll go into the uh, two by fours. And then we're using uh, a couple of different, si uh, a couple of S hooks that we can uh, change the height because these will fit inside that flapper on hole. Uh, but when we're not using that and for the wing, we can use these and some safety wire to hold some of the other items uh, that will work out just fine. So uh, the uh, vertical stabilizer, the elevator, uh, these little pieces there, the tail or the uh, um, horizontal, we can actually use a couple of the hinge points here with some safety wire to hang that so we can paint that whole thing at one time. That's the plan. Uh, same thing with the rudder actually too, but uh, that's the plan. So we're gonna start building the stands first today. And if we can get those done at a decent speed, then we can get the uh, paint booth blown up, get those pieces of wood inside, get these hanging inside there and start prepping for paint. So that's awesome guys. Okay guys, so we're done building the stands for the aircraft, for the wings, uh, but we're also gonna use those actually, like I said, to hang the other parts like the uh, elevator, the stab and so on. So we've, uh, they're not perfect, but they'll do the trick. If they hold my weight, then uh, they'll hold the wings just fine. So uh, we're gonna use the hooks as you can see here but we're gonna use a, uh, an S-hook to uh, kind of grip the wing uh, at the uh, uh, flapper on mount. That should hold the wings up while I paint them straight up and down. So we have, whoops, so we have uh, four of them, uh, two for each wing. And then, uh, but for the time being, we're gonna start trying to figure out how we're gonna hang all of the other equipment in here, all the other parts. All right guys, so we're gonna be walking around and uh, take a look inside. Uh, it's really loud, so I just wanted to uh, just show you how we hung all of the uh, parts in the booth here. 
We have the, uh, hor the vertical, the horizontal, the uh, end caps, all the covers. Um, that's actually a bad spot, and I'll show you later. All right, guys, so now we've finished the priming process here. So everything has been primed with the uh, epoxy primer, uh, which seems to adhere very well to this aluminum. So I'm really happy with the product. Uh, and I'll put the link in the description, guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, everything came out really good. Uh, covers very well. Next will be color. Okay, guys, so welcome back. And uh, I didn't do a time lapse while I was painting, but uh, we got some painting done, guys. Um, so the booth worked out really good. Hope you can hear me with all the noise still. But uh, yeah, so here are the stabs. They are now, or the horizontal stabilizer and the elevator are now painted in the olive drab. Uh, I think they came out pretty darn good. Uh, it's actually dry to the touch, but it's not cured yet. Um, now, this piece I did not bother getting like total coverage of because that's gonna be inside the uh, vertical stabilizer and will not be seen. So I'm not gonna concern myself with it too much. Uh, plus, I, I did prime this area though because the, uh, the weights will be up there. And we will be painting the weights, uh, at least with the etching primer to seal them. But uh, as you can see, let me get the light. So as you can see, very nice coverage with this paint. I'm not seeing any spots that are standing out that need to be retouched up. Even got inside that seam at the top. It's looking all really nice, guys. Uh, really happy with this paint. This paint goes down really nicely. Uh, for a flat paint, it's, uh, it really, really is beautiful. That's looking really nice. So that's all looking good. Uh, also made sure that I got the uh, this leading edge very nicely. So that's all looking nice and green. So really happy, guys. Really, really, really happy. So that's all looking really nice. Uh, so that's good. We come over here. We have the uh, vertical stabilizer is here done, and that's also looking really nice. Very, very, very good coverage with this paint. Uh, all my hatches. I do have a boo-boo right there. I don't know if it'll show up in the camera. Uh, so that might need to be sanded and uh, reshot when I do the wings. Not a big deal. Uh, overall, I'm still pretty, pretty happy with the, uh, with the outcome. The hatch is right there. Also got my uh, pitot tube painted in the green. I might actually reshoot that in black uh, to kind of go with this. I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, so this booth really works out really nice, guys. If you guys are interested in, uh, in looking at it, I'll put a link down in the description. It's a, uh, it's made, it's a, made in China, of course, but it's a gorilla uh, paint booth. Fits nicely in here, in my hangar. And uh, the wings will be able to get in there. Um, I, I, I might see how I might be able to work this out because uh, it's not quite wide enough to put both in there. But maybe if I can hang both of them in one, then I can get both in there. I don't know. Uh, maybe you just do one wing at a time in here, but that should be fine. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Uh, but it really does keep the, uh, the paint fumes and the overspray from getting inside the hangar and getting on everything else. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of today's video. This is the end of the weekend. Next weekend, we'll start working on the wings, getting those prepped, and then uh, maybe getting those, maybe at least one of them started in, in, in the paint booth uh, next week. We'll see how that works with timing. But uh, other than that, guys, I'm signing off. Keep building, keep flying. And if you want to help out, support the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check out the link in the description for T-shirts. See you guys later. Bye now.